What's up family? I'm Tommy. And I'm Sharon. And welcome to DMO World guys. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. So I hope you guys are doing great wherever you're watching from in the world, whatever you're doing. Let us know in the comments, say what's up to us, and we appreciate every single one of you. So once again, it's been a little bit of a minute since we've been here with our DMO World family, but we're back. We're never gone for long, guys. We're never gone for long. You know that. And we're just enjoying this beautiful, beautiful summer's evening. Look at it. Look at that beautiful blue sky, the sun setting in the background, the view over the hills. Happy days. Life don't get much better than this in the summer. Like, like a little life update. What's been going on with us? What's been going on with DMO World? And more importantly, actually, what's been going on in the UK right now? So first bit of news we've got. I probably don't even need to announce this. You just need to take a, look, a little look at the top of my head and see... Wagwan. I love it. I love it. I like it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of Mr. DMO's hair? Do you guys like it? Should I keep it? So I'll tell you, I'll, I'll give you guys a, a little quick um, story. Long story short. You get it? Long story short. So my hair was like starting to look a bit like an undercut. Like the, the barber did not blend the short bit of hair of the long bit and it was starting to look like an undercut i was getting annoyed so i started trying to snip it down and do it myself because every time i went in the barber shop it wasn't getting sorted i was messing it up so i went for the clippers i tried to get the longest guard and it just ended up really short i tried to fade it myself it looked okay but not great so i went to the barber shop and the barber kind of hooked me up got me right again lined me up did the fade you know what? i just had a thought do you, yeah. Did you do this because people kept saying me and you look alike? Yeah. <laughs> no, basically, just so we can actually prove that me and Shazzy here are actually twinning. Because people were saying like we've got the same haircut and a lot of people are saying you actually look alike, you look alike. But people are saying we've got the same face as well. Oh, I'm, st I'm still not really seeing it. Not just because of the the racial thing, but because I just don't really feel like we look alike. But your face is longer and your head is bigger. My head's way bigger. Yeah, look, my head is like. And Pete, yeah. and Pete you guys be like commenting on that as well, like on our reels about how much bigger my head is than Sharon's. Here's the thing, all right. This is something I don't really need to be explaining, but I'm going to anyway because that's Tommy D and that's what I do. Sharon has got a very small head. No, Wait. you have a very big head. Yeah, well, I was going to say that <laughs> as well, and I have a very big head. Okay, so small head, big head. Put them together, and you've got an extreme difference. At least you don't have a small body, because then you look like an alien. Yeah, that that's what the one good thing. I'm quite I've got quite broad shoulders. I'm quite a big guy. I'm, I'm six foot there. one. So I I kind of the only thing is when I was like so when I say like fourteen, fifteen. I was a very, I was a late, late grower. I was very little, very skinny. I wasn't quite as tall as I am now, um, but my head was the same size because like, can you imagine how out of portion I looked? I used to get called head at school because my head was just so big compared to my body. But luckily, my body just filled out. And thank goodness for that. Anyway, we're not really here just to talk about my head and my hair, but let us know anyway what you think of the new haircut. If I sh if I should keep it or whether I should grow it back. Here's my thoughts. I think I'm going to meet in the middle. I'm going to, I want to grow out a little bit longer on top, but I don't. I'm See, probably not going to go back to the if whole. If you do that, don't look too military like you in the military. You think? Yeah, like I don't know. I, I still I want it just a bit longer with the shape up. I don't want to go. I'm not going to go back to the the old long side sweep. I don't think. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Stay tuned. But yeah. So what's been going on? So it, it's been pretty crazy actually. Not so much for our personal family, our own family, but. The UK has been crazy right now, guys. If you've been living under a rock and you haven't seen the headlines, I mean, I guess you guys are watching from other countries, so you might not have seen, but if you haven't, let me fill you in. So there's been, uh, there's been unrest and there's been a lot of people's true colours have been shown here. So it just turns out the UK is a very, very racist place. Like, basically, a, ve a very sad and unfortunate incident happened with... Uh, Three innocent little girls. Something bad happened to them. And um, basically misinformation spread and it was being blamed on a Muslim immigrant and it wasn't, that was completely false. So all of the crazy racist people went, took to the streets, started attacking mosques, burning people's cars, people of colors cars. Um, we have hotels here in the UK that actually house um, asylum seekers. 
they've been attacking these asylum seekings and that's not just men that's women and children as well there's but just been riots right civil unrest basically civil unrest in in a lot of uk cities most major cities have been here so guys, I decided to take the camera to the bedroom where I can talk a little bit clearer because I, I, like I said, I don't really want the kids hearing this because they're none the wiser really. We just, we like to shelter them from this kind of stuff. They're too young to know about, you know, the problems we've got in the country. Um, obviously arise a little bit too young to understand, but I don't want to roar hearing. Um, a lot of racist people have just come out and started acting very violent and very, very angry. Like some people will say they're pissed off with illegal immigrants. It is a bit of a problem, like, there's a lot of people come over here seeking asylum, but it's not just that. It ain't just that. It's like, the UK has been a multicultural place for a long, long time, you know. We've we've always welcomed immigration here because it's always helped our economy um, for, for the best part of 100 years. And, it, you know, it goes back before that as well. So, yeah, there's just a lot of ignorance, a lot of people that don't fully understand how immigration actually helps us. Like, for example... We have a public health care system, the NHS, where the taxpayers' money goes towards the NHS. So if we need to go to the doctors, if we have, have to have an operation, we have to have scans, anything, any medical care, we get for free or it gets included within our tax. Um, the NHS is full of doctors, nurses, um, physicians, everything that are from other countries. They, they see the opportunity to work, to get an education, they work hard, they get great jobs, and they save lives here. Apparently people people don't like it. People don't like it, and I don't understand why. It's like, our lives are being saved, paying back into our economy, they're making the UK a great place. That's the way I see it, and I won't see it any other way. So I just feel like, if you are from the other side and you, you see it any different, then I don't know. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, but if you're going to take to the streets and be violent and um, try and inflict harm on people, then you are definitely a very bad person in my eyes. And yeah, I haven't got any time for it personally, but one thing I will say though, the UK has stood up against the bullies. Like the last, the, the later half this week, there were protests from the right planned, but people have come out in like the thousands taken to the streets to basically just to defend the country from and it's just an amazing show of solidarity from the you know from the good people of this nation um and that's you know that's white people coming out that's black people i think now i think we are over the worst of it it seems but there's still there still might be some unrest but yeah it's the uk's been a crazy place the uk has been a really 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 crazy place to live um we've just been kind of not going out after dark, you know, just keeping ourselves down because obviously we are a biracial family and we got to make sure that Sharon and the kids are safe from these wanting to do harm to people for whatever reason. You know, they're always going to come up with an excuse. They're fed up with it. They, you know, they're fed up with people taking our jobs, this, that and the third. It's all the same old, same old, same old. But it does just seem to generally to be people that are not educated and don't fully understand the benefits of immigration in this country and also not just the benefits of it the history of it like as you guys know that have watched us for a little while we've talked quite a lot about you know we've always had this um dream of maybe owning a property somewhere in the u.s because you know certain states like florida and texas you get very good value for money compared to what you get here in the uk and you get much better weather you know it just seems like a better way of life so we're not we're not in a position to be able to do that anytime soon, but it is kind of a dream of ours. But a lot of people try to defer us from doing that, saying you don't want to come to the US. It's, it's a very racist place, you know. Stay there in nice little green England where everything's hunky dory. I hope now you guys can see that it ain't like that here, that we do have the same problems. And it, like at the moment, from the outside looking, it seems like we've got things worse here as far as racism and conflict and people really not getting along like i feel like we probably got it worse at the moment so i don't know let's know what you guys think if if you guys do feel like it is equally as bad there and there's a lot of unrest over race then yeah let us know you know we always we like to educate ourselves and you know see it from both sides so yeah let us know let's get on to something a little bit lighthearted. let's go and see what the family's saying guys yeah guys we're just making the most of this beautiful I'm summer's evening it, well we'll fix that in a minute Araya. oh sorry baby We'll fix it in a minute. 
So it's that bit of sweet time of the year, it's August, mid-August. The summer's drawing to a close. I always feel sad this time of year, like we're still out here enjoying it, but we just know that, give it a few weeks, we're gonna be cold again. It's gonna be getting dark early. We're just making the most of it, guys. Guys, Luton are playing tomorrow. One good thing about this time of year, football season starts soon. Aurora's just turned into this huge football fan. Her cousin's a huge football fan. You know, I, I like my football as well. But she just, she's just a huge... Soccer, as in. Soccer, I should say soccer, so some of you guys get me. She's turned into this huge Luton Town football fan, so I am proud of her for it, but this is all she ever talks about. Isn't that right? It's crazy, guys, uh, how quickly Araya's growing up. It doesn't seem like five minutes ago that she was just going... Now she's actually speaking words, even sentences, aren't you, Araya? I don't want to show too much because she's just here in a nappy, a.k.a. diaper. It's hot. It I is wish, hot. I wish I could just be in a diaper, too. You wish you could be in a diaper? Mm -hmm. That's why I'm, I'm led outside, because... It's hot. Have you had a nice day, though? Relaxing by yourself. <sighs> Yeah, I wish it was longer. I think I'm gonna take another, a full day off by myself. What I wanna know is when is it daddy's turn to have, have a, a, a daddy day where I can just do what Miami. I want. Oh yeah, I went to Miami, didn't I? Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm forever, I'm forever indebted. Oh, for... So how are we feeling then? It's August, the balloons are going up, summer's ending. Oh, yeah. and we normally get the balloons on our channel, but I think we missed them this year. They're all out flying this weekend and I think they're gone. Yeah. But no, the they, balloons... They haven't, been, they haven't been flying because of the weather. Oh, is that where it's? Up. Yeah. Oh, so they're um, going to fly them again? Uh, I think they might come, yeah, now and again, but the balloon place is finished. When, when the balloons are out in the city, that normally means end of summer. I hope you enjoyed this little, very, very short and sweet vlog, but, you know, we thought we need to fill you guys in on Wagwan with DMO World. You know, we got to stay tapped in with you guys. Remember, you can always keep up with our goings on on our Instagram pages, our TikTok pages. We're always here, we're always present. Even if you don't find us on YouTube for a week, sometimes two, you know where to, what other platforms to find us on. But we'll see you guys in another video very, very soon. Cheers, mate. <laughs>